Hello everyone, I am Dr. Danish Sareem. Of late there has been lot of news about white fungus followed by the alarm caused by black fungus in media recently. And I personally receive a lot of questions every day asking what is white fungus? Is it the same as black fungus? How serious of a disease is it? Is the infection caused by the white fungus even more critical than the black fungus? Why does it occur? What are the ways to prevent it? And how do you treat the white fungus infection? So let us discuss these topics today. Kindly share this information to everyone. First and foremost, I would like to clarify that the black fungus and the white fungus are two distinct infections. Black fungus or mucormycosis is caused by a mold called mucormycetes and white fungus is a common infection which you can see everywhere. It has always been in existence. So now the reason why this has become a big concern and you see more and more cases reported these days is that the wide spread of COVID virus and the number of people with weaker immunity from fighting this COVID infection is very high now. Other patients with pre-existing conditions like uncontrolled diabetes or patients who are on steroids or people who are taking immunosuppressants are at high risk for white fingers infection. The steroids and immunosuppressants are very important in life saving and it is crucial for some patients recovery. For example, a patient who have undergone organ transplantation have to take immunosuppressants because human body tends to reject anything uh, that is foreign or that enters the body which includes the organ that might be implanted. So to avoid the possibility of body rejecting the organ, those patients are treated with immunosuppressants. However, as the name suggests, the immunosuppressants brings down the immunity of a person and if that person has been exposed with COVID, the chances of getting secondary infections like black fungus or white fungus becomes even higher. So having said that, white fungus is not clearly as dangerous or as fatal as black, black fungus and it is treatable especially if you are identified the white fungus initially. The white fungus is caused by a fungus called candida mostly and the infection caused by it is called as candidiasis. This typically occurs in the infection of the tongue inside the mouth or in the throat or in the vaginal area. Now the white fungus becomes dangerous when this becomes invasive and mixes with the blood causing the infection to spread to the other organs like your lungs, heart and all. So white fungus is so common that it may even occur in many people without causing any major concern. Though this infection can flare up when the body's uh, immunity is lower. So this is the reason why you hear a lot of COVID patients complaining about the presence of white fungal infection on their tongue. People who belong to the following category are at higher risk for uh, getting white fungal infection. So this include who have uncontrolled diabetes, for example, who is having sugar more than 200 mg per deciliter, or patients who are treated with steroids, a patient who had organ transplant in the past and have been treated with immunosuppressants. COVID patients within the 6 to 8 weeks of their recovery are also at high risk for this category. And people who do not follow the good hygiene could also be at risk for fung white fungal infection. So another common question among people is, whether white fungus or black fungus is more serious. As I have explained in my previous video, the black fungus or the mucormycosis is a very serious condition which has a mortality rate about 50 to 80 percentage even in regular patient and this could go up to 90 percentage for patients who are having HIV. So, and white fungal infection does not have that much mortality only if there if it is entering the bloodstream infection the fungus becomes invasive and it can, if it is affecting the organs like lung, heart, brain, eyes, uh, the mortality rate is approximately 30%. Not to say this is not dangerous, but it is still a dangerous condition with a 30% mortality rate, but it is relatively less dangerous compared to the black fungus, which has a mortality rate of 80%. White fungus can be treated and also with the regular infection because you can see in the, I told you, you can see in the mouth, vaginal tract, so when it mixes with the blood, it becomes more dangerous. So many people recovering from COVID complain about white fungal infection on the lining of their tongue or inside the mouth. So this condition is called as oral thrush. Oral thrush can be treated for the most part with some home remedies like gargling three times a day with hot salt water and having yogurt 
you know which is a very good probiotic you have to take three times in a day you should also brush your teeth three times in a day but make sure you use a very soft bristles because uh, this condition can cause easy uh, bleeding so it is very important to make sure you are using a soft brush couple of other things to take care is that patient who use steroid based inhalers or nebulization should gargle their uh, their wash oftenly and uh, thoroughly especially after nebulization so you have to avoid intake of sugar and sweets because fungus loves sweets so in case the symptoms of oral thrush or esophageal uh, in candidiasis is not going you have to take an opinion from the doctor there are some creams like nystatin another option is like uh, lozenges are available and third option is Uh, you may have some gargling multiple times with certain medications like clotrimoxazole so doctor will give you a good option to treat this uh, infection so sometimes you may need to switch to an oral or an iv antifungal medication like fluconazole amphotericin b like that so presence of white fungus in the blood can be detected via blood test like blood culture complete blood count test So covid patients with the severe candidiasis cases reported in India have been mostly having issues with their lungs getting infected and usually have symptoms very similar to covid that is fever uh, severe cough and breathing distress so if a patient develop these symptoms after the recovery that means the covid negative after becoming covid negative and if these symptoms persist the next diagnostic step could be uh, checking uh, for the white fungus So presence of white fungus in lungs can be detected by HRCT CT scan of the chest. In case this occurs the patient should seek medical attention immediately. Candidemia can be treated with antifungal medication like amphotericin B, newer antifungals like anodella fungin. However, these antifungal medications are very expensive and cost around 25000 per day. So as you know, the prevention is always better than cure. How can we prevent white fungus in covid patients? and other high risk category patients mentioned earlier so most importantly you have to keep your sugar level checked and ensure that it is always below 200 mg per deciliter always clean your mouth thoroughly after each meal and when the patients using inhalers or nebulizers should thoroughly gargle and wash their mouth after each usage so always double mask while going out especially 6 to 8 weeks after the uh, covid infection wear clean mask so personal hygiene is very important especially when your immunity is weak the best part about white fungal infection is that the mortality rate is not so high as that of black fungus infection it does not uh, transmit one one person to another person and this can be prevented with caution care and good hygiene so take care everyone spread this awareness to prevent more cases of severe fungal infection Dr. D e. Better Life will be back soon with another relevant topic. Take care everyone.